Rick Bills with Cascade Sports. Who do we have here? Andy Stell, coach of the Cleveland Heights Tigers. Coach, tell me a little about the game today. Um, you know, I, it was it's a good win for us. Um, I thought we, I thought defensively, we we created a lot of opportunities at the other end of the floor with some turnovers. Um, I thought we, you know, anytime you have four four guys in double figures, that's a good offensive night. Um, you know, the, the the major negative is we missed 19 free throws, but. Uh, you know, anything. Anytime you come away with a 15, 16 point win and miss that many free throws, you got to you got to be doing something right. Okay. Now I was reading in um, Cleveland.com. I think it was at the big beginning of the year, and they were saying how Cleveland Heights. Y'all at the beginning, y'all was at the top of the rankings, and y'all fell down. This is the first time y'all been out of the top 20 in a few years. What do you think about that? You know, I, I honestly I don't pay a whole lot of attention to the rankings. I'm not sure they they, they mean a whole lot. You know, mm -hmm. we're all playing different different schedules and we're all playing different competition. Um, I know that the number one ranked team in in the in the area, Shaker, we uh, we uh, we took them to overtime. So mm -hmm. you know, the, the rankings are the rankings, and that's and that's fine, and that you know provides a lot of a lot of talk for people, but. You know, we're just going to go out and take care of business is, is the way we look at it. Okay, so uh, right now y'all leading the LEL, right? We are leading the LEL. Okay, how many more games y'all got? We got two. Two more. We got a one game lead with two to play. Okay, so tell me what what kind of type of team you got this year? You know, we're we're we are we're athletic. We're we're um, we got a lot of guards. We're not we're not the biggest team in the world, so you know we have to rely on our pressure like we did tonight. Um, we have to you know we have to create the pace of the game. We got to play fast and we got to push the pace and, uh, and and use our strength in terms of our our, our speed and athleticism. Okay, now uh, a couple of games ago I saw where Bagley got 47 points. Marcus had 47. Was he in the zone that day? Was they looking for him or was he a go-to guy? Well, well, you know, how, a, how did he get a, a lot of those points were, were at the rim. He was, you know, he was creating those opportunities with uh, you know some athletic attacks on the rim. He was getting quite a few offensive rebound and putbacks. Uh, you know Marcus is just one of those phenomenal special athletes. Um, so it, it, it was a night uh, that uh, that uh, was pretty incredible for him. Okay, coach. Thanks a lot for the interview. Absolutely. And congratulations on the win, Great. and we'll follow you guys the rest of the year. Awesome. Thank Rick you. Fields for Cascade Sports, and you can get this on CascadeSports.tv. Thanks a lot. What's up, Kansas City? I'm Brianna Garlington. I'm Charles Williams. And I'm Derek Parker. And we are CMG. CMG. And we would like to welcome you to follow both websites. That's whatsupkansascity.net and cascadesports.tv. Some of our programs consist of Are You Awoke, Coach's Corner, and many more interviews, news, and blogs. Be sure to like our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram at Cascade Media Group and Twitter at What's Up KC and Cascade Sports. And remember, the victory we call success goes, goes to the best prepared. prepared. And when you invest in your community, you are really just investing in yourself. So don't just like it, share, share it. it.